Hi, it's James Mitchell. Here's another video on Workshop Software. I really hope you get some great value from it and you enjoy it. All the best. Hi, welcome to this video about an update that's been added into Workshop Software. Th this one is really exciting. It's uh, something that we've had numerous clients ask us about and uh, we're really excited to add this new feature into the system. What it involves is attaching a supplier invoice to a customer invoice. So it really helps with how you manage your products and making sure that you're billing out your products to your customers. So let's go take a look. So first up what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and do a supplier invoice. I'm just going to choose any supplier. In this case, I'm going to use Repco. And I'm just going to add a couple of products in. I shall put my reference number in there first and I'll add my products in there. So I'm going to do a set of 1045 pads maybe an A360 filter, and I'm gonna add those couple of products onto this invoice. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna save this transaction. It doesn't mean that I've processed it yet, I've just saved it as an open transaction. I can then click the star, which is our actions button, and you'll notice that there is attached to invoice on there. What that means is, is that I can attach one or more of these products onto one or more customer, uh, supply, you know, customer invoices or customer transactions that are currently open in your workshop. So let's go take a look. If we click on that, I can now, say for example, I'll set the choose the pads. I could choose both if I wanted to and add them onto one invoice, but I'm gonna just do one at a time and just show you a couple of different ways of doing this. So I'm gonna now click this green tick and what this does is open up a, tra a list box and I can now go and choose this particular tra or any transaction, go select, and you'll see here that the job card is now listed against that particular line item. I'm just gonna go and do that again, and the A360, I'm gonna go and put that onto a different transaction, and I'm just gonna put this onto Mary Smythe's transaction here, and you'll notice now she's got that job card number against that, and I'm gonna go and process this transaction now. So if I process it, it's done. Those items have now gone onto those particular invoices for those customers. So let's go take a look. So we just jump into the job center now and we're gonna open up these transactions. So I'll open up the first one, this ABC Electrical, and what you'll notice here is that this DB1045, that's actually been automatically added onto that customer invoice for that customer, right? So I haven't entered that in, that's actually been processed across there from uh, that supplier invoices that we've gone and added it on. Let's go also, and I'll show you the Mary Smythe one as well. So if we just open up this transaction, what you can see here is that, uh, again, at the bottom of her transaction, this A360 has been added in. So that's, uh, you know, come across directly from a supplier invoice as well. So now what I can do is, I just wanna show you one more little thing. So if we scroll up and we can see here that there's a new little drop down box, which is the supplier invoices attached. You'll notice too that there's orders attached. So if I click on that, this one actually has got an order attached as well. So a very similar functionality works with orders. So this has got an order number here, which is on order. Uh, so it's not been finalized yet, this one here. So there's a Z140 79A on order for this particular invoice. And you can see that our supplier invoices that's been attached has been is on there as well. In this, you can have as many transactions as you like. You can have all sorts of different suppliers. Uh, you have the same supplier with multiple invoices, all that sort of stuff. You can have an unlimited number of transactions appearing both in the supplier invoices and the orders. So uh, it, it really is a great feature that allows you to make sure that you're putting your items onto your customer invoices. The last thing you wanna do is let a customer drive out of your workshop without you billing them for a part that they've actually got you fitted onto their car. So this really does help to eliminate or effectively alleviate that particular problem. So again, really excited about this update. I uh, really hope you find it great value and uh, continue to get awesome value from workshop software, thanks.